Hello everyone, today is Thursday, November 1st. It's 3.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can see my computer clock on my right, the date and time, and on my left is the time in sales. The E-mini S&P currently trading at 2734.75. Another great day for the auto trader doing well in this still somewhat elevated volatility environment. Uh, first up is the DAX on a Superenco 14 tick, and this is the one with our $5,500 goal, and uh, that was hit with uh, excellent positive slippage, and you can see the trades here. This went into the U.S. session. It starts trading on the Eurex or London session, and if I bunch up the equity curve, it did really good. It only had a drawdown of about $500 or 250 per contract. There was just a couple of small losers to start and then it kind of came back with these uh, sequence of small losers but larger winners as you can see on the chart here how this played out so big winner small loser big winner small loser big winner couple small losers larger winners and so forth so tightening up the equity chart here we made an equity high of 4000 and then uh, gave about 50% of that back, another equity high here, and then it was this uh, string, this couple of winning trades here that pushed us over our goal, and we had really great positive slippage right here. So the DAX uh, is probably one of the best markets to trade, but at the same time, it's also one of the most volatile markets to trade. So a lot of different settings can work on the DAX, so it's definitely worth looking into trading the DAX. Okay, the auto trader is quite effective on the E-mini S&P. This is the E-mini S&P on a Superenco 6 tick chart. We've seen this chart quite a bit. This one is trading three contracts and this did 2350 today. Our goal on this is 2400, so we definitely hit our goal and this was done with very little drawdown. Only drew down about $100, less than 100 per contract. This is three contracts, so total drawdown of about $200, only about $75 per contract. And you can see how the trades played out here. There was, once again, uh, small winners, but much uh, small losers, but much larger winners. And that resulted in us hitting our goal. This has expanded daily goals because of the volatility. I haven't rolled them back on this chart yet. Okay, the DAX on a 233 high Kanashi chart. This doesn't look like much, but it did 2537 on just these two trades and it's just testimony to uh, how rich the DAX is. Uh, just catching a single swing like this could result in two, three, four thousand dollars on two contracts. So even a single contract catching a swing like this would be several thousand dollars. Okay, next is the DAX on a Super Inco 14 tick. This one is with our 2000 goal and a $1,500 stop loss. This hit its goal on about five trades. And again, uh, smaller losers, larger winners. Uh, it was this big winner here that put us over the top. And so this one also hitting its goal today. Okay, next is the DAX on a 377 Heike and Ashi chart. This chart we've seen almost daily in this uh, hit its goal of 1500 on a single trade, 1550. So we had a couple of ticks of slippage here, but uh, it doesn't get much better than this, just hitting your goal on a single trade. Okay, once again, the E-mini S&P on a 987 three-line break chart uh, coming through in that same scenario, uh, small losers but larger winners. And this did uh, 1287 for the day. Our goal is 1300, so uh, hit our goal with one tick of slippage. Okay, the NASDAQ on a 987 Heike and Ashi chart uh, had two trades here, and I believe it hit its goal of 1500, 1550. So we probably had some slippage, and uh, this was done in two trades and finished trading within the first 30 minutes of trading, as you can see here. Okay, the E-mini S&P on just a regular five Renko chart uh, with a higher time frame filter of a six Renko. This one is 
trading three contracts with a goal of 1325 and so it hit its target and had uh, a tick of uh, a point of slippage well actually less than a point being that it's three contracts so so one tick of slippage per contract is almost a full point just a note that this chart has also been extremely consistent okay we have several charts trading the superenco uh, four tick and the e mini s p and this one has a higher time frame filter of Superenco 6 and our goal on this is 1050 and this one is trading only two contracts so that's roughly 500 a contract and the day looks something like this here we drew down about six hundred dollars or three hundred per contract and then we came back with these pretty sizable winners here and that put us up to our goal for the day Okay, next up is the DAX on a 610 tick line break. The goal on this is uh, 2,500, and this did about 1,100 uh, for the day on a couple of trades. Okay, the CL on, or the crude oil, on a Precision Renko 8150 uh, did 1,060, and the goal on this is 1,030, so a couple of ticks positive slippage. This is using our line break logic, and the drawdown here was about a hundred dollars per contract this one's only trading two contracts okay the ES on a super anchor four tick did 700 and this one has a goal of 725 and it's trading two contracts and it drew down very little this is somewhat conservative setup on a super anchor four tick so it only drew down a hundred dollars or fifty dollars per contract Okay, the ES on a five-minute chart has an open position here. Uh, it took some heat off the open here and drew down $1,200 or $600 per contract, but then came back with this uh, winner here. Uh, the first target is 40 ticks or 10 points. And if the market uh, rallies to the upside, finishes to the upside for the day, this will finish in the green here. We have an open P&L of 800 and a closed P&L of minus 375. So a net P&L of about 400 right now and it looks like the market wants to break out of this range and continue to the upside we can see our time and sales here uh, the e-mini S&P making new highs here at 329 new highs for the day and you can see that ticking off on the time and sales remember our videos are recorded in real time Okay, another Superenco four tick chart. This one is trading two contracts and the goal is a thousand. And this was pr moderately active today. We drew down uh, less than $400, so about 150 per contract was the maximum drawdown. And it, you know, went sideways for most of the morning and then came up with a string of winning trades beginning at the 10.30 hour and then finishing trading by 11 o'clock. So uh, in reality, this uh, finished trading in an hour and a half and hit its goal. And then finally, we have the E-mini S&P on a Super Anko 4 tick with a Super Anko 2 tick as our higher time frame. And this has only a goal of 750 trading two contracts and so this hit its goal and drew down about 125 per contract. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.